In this lesson, you'll learn how to display user interface input controls for your Android apps. In this lesson, we'll only be looking at how to display the controls, not react to them in Java code when they're activated by the app user. We'll cover that aspect in the next lesson on input events. The Android website has a good set of web pages dedicated to input controls, and the main page is shown here. At the bottom of the page is a list of some common controls. Button, text, checkbox, radio buttons, toggle buttons, spinners, pickers. And there are also some useful links to related classes for each one over here on the right. In the API demo app, let's take a look at a common control, the button. You've already seen buttons in action in some of the previous lessons. You can find the button demo on the worksheet. To do that, let's filter on the demo name column. We'll put in button. And we have a couple of entries, and we'll use the one in line 286 that has the Java code name buttons1. In the demo, we'll click on the views group and buttons. And we see three buttons. And if we click them, the third one causes the blue indicator to come on and the text to change from on to off. And let's take a look at the code. So in the views Java code, we'll open buttons one, and it uses the layout buttons one, so we'll open that in the layouts folder. And let's look at the XML code. And here we see the three buttons defined. Notice that the second button and line 35 has a style defined as small. And the third button is defined in line 40 as a toggle button, which provides the on-off behavior when it's clicked. So it's not the Java code in our app that's causing this button to change, but the Android system itself. As I said, we'll be looking at how our app Java code interacts with input control displays in the next lesson. The API Demos app doesn't have a separate grouping of input controls, so I'll point out where you can find some of them on our worksheet. A number of the input controls, such as the buttons demo we just looked at, are demonstrated in this group of demos here that don't have a secondary or tertiary grouping. In other words, you access them straight from the Views screen in the demo app. For example, here's the buttons demo. And there are also some input controls demonstrated in the auto complete group, which is here. And you'll find some in the controls group right underneath auto complete. For example, let's look at controls, pick the light theme, and you see we have checkboxes demonstrated, radio buttons, stars, on off radio button list, and so forth. So that's our lesson on input controls. And now let's look at how they're responded to using input events.